Hi friends, our 10th lesson plan will be from the topic Gymnosperms and Angiosperms from the unit Plant Physiology and Standard 8. As I said, said earlier, Class 8, Unit Plant Physiology, Topic Gymnosperms and Angiosperms. Instructional objectives. The pupil acquires the knowledge about gymnosperms and angiosperms, identifies the examples of gymnosperms and angiosperms, learns the basic characters of gymnosperms and angiosperms, classify gymnosperms and angiosperms, describe the difference between gymnosperms and angiosperms, states the economic importance of gymnosperms and angiosperms. Instructional resources. Hanging chart depicting illustration for gymnosperms and angiosperms. Chart showing the classification of gymnosperms and angiosperms. Flashcard showing the common name of economically important plants. Now we will move on to the previous knowledge. The teacher asks questions to the students to test their previous knowledge. What is a seed? Why are they referred to as naked seeds? Give examples of plants with naked seeds. What are following plant, flowering plants? Based on what characteristic plants can be classified? What is classification? How does seedless plant reproduce? Now we will see the main content. Declaration of the topic is gymnosperms and angiosperms. Gymnosperms are naked seed plant. Plant body is porophyte, have vascular tissues. Tracheid is water conducting tissue. Seed cells are food conducting tissue. Angiosperms are flowering plants in every habitat. They have vascular bundles. So, the teacher explains the characteristics of gymnosperms and angiosperms. The student listens to the explanation of gymnosperms and angiosperms. What is gymnosperm and angiosperm? Gymnosperms are classified as cyclades, jinkoles, coniferales. So the teacher classifies the gymnosperms into three classes. The student follows the classification of gymnosperms. Evaluation you can ask. Gymnosperms are classified into dash, dash and dash. It can also be in the fill up form. Next, angiosperms are classified into monocotyledons and dicotyledons. And you brief monocotyledon are seeds with one cotyledon, they have fibrous root system, their pollination is by wind, example grass paddy banana. Dicotyledon you brief, they are seeds with two cotyledons, tap root system they have, pollination is by insects, example bean, mango, neem. The teacher classifies and angiosperms and differentiates mono and dicotyledon. The student understands the classification and differentiation. Differentiate mono and dicotyledon. Next, cyclades are palm like small plants. Jinkoes, only living species, is Jingo biloba. Coniferous, which are needle like leaves, cone like appearance they have. The teacher describes the gymnosperm classes. The student observes the description of gymnosperm classes. Cone-like leaves belong to which class will be your evaluation. Gymnosperms are sources of wood. Turpentine is used for painting. Pine seeds are edible. Ephedrine cures asthma and respiratory problems. So here the teacher is listing the uses of gymnosperms and angiosperms. And also angiosperm, she, uh, the teacher gives the content as angiosperm indica paste cures burns. Angiosperm marmalos cure chronic diarrhea. Yes, trilobatum treats TB. So the student listens to the various uses listed by the teacher. Evaluation you ask, list out the various medicinal uses of gymnosperms and angiosperms. Here comes the recapitulation part. How many classes are there in angiosperm classification? What are the medicinal uses of angiosperms? Define angiosperm and gymnosperm. List the uses of gymnosperms. 
follow-up activities, differentiate gymnosperm and angiosperm. Students can go for nature walk and collect samples of flowering and non-flowering plants. This can also be given as a follow-up activity. So we wind up with the student teacher signature. Thank you friends.